What's going on YouTube? Leave here and welcome back to my channel. It's a uh, late, late Saturday night, but nonetheless, it's late night Still chat, late night. bitches. Uh huh. So if you don't know what late night chat is, it's where we bring in the winner of the house and we just chat. That would be me. It's like a little yeah. mini podcast. It's not super long, and it's not super short. And if you choose to watch it as well as listen to it, um, we're gonna be playing some Monopoly Streets. I'm the ship, or no, I'm the race car. Yeah, I'm the and ship. And she's the ship. So, damn, we just rolled That's, the same. Oh my gosh, see, she's already starting with doubles. She always gets yeah, doubles. Yeah, you're so right. I swear, like the past three times we've played this, all she's got, even when the game I play by myself, she kept getting doubles, and I'm like, how is this fair? Oh, you better not beat me here. Anyway, we do have real yeah. time. You, you fucking suck. Yeah. We do have real topics to chitty chat, chatter chat, chat about. Yep. So, uh... I guess I will start with, you're done with training for your second job? Oh my goodness, yes, and I could not be happier. Like, everybody keeps asking me, oh, do you like it? Are you glad you started? Are you nervous? And I'm like, no, I'm not nervous at all. How are you going to land on chance? I know, right? <laughs> oh, oh, that's crappy. <laughs> that's what's up. Really? Oh, uh, anyway. So, um, and I'm like, no, yeah, I really like it. And everybody just thought I was just not going to like it or something, and People coming from Olive Garden, um, I've heard them say that they didn't like it, and that's why they quit. But I'm just thinking, like, why don't you like it? I prefer it way over uh, the past couple of serving jobs I've had. Like, if I could only have one job or one serving job, if I only needed one, one I'd want to go with Islands. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that for any particular reason? What's the, what's well, the difference? What makes it the I'm guaranteed... One? A certain amount of hours, and they told me they can give me more if need be, and I make more money there, obviously. So that would be uh, something that would be keeping me there. Just yeah. one night, I've made so much more than I did in like a few days at Olive Garden. I hate when the Xbox is dumb and buys properties for like double their value. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> like nobody would do that. How oh, is that really starting this, this off like that? Yeah. This is hilarious. She rolled doubles. Too. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You're so lying. I do not believe you. Why is she going again? I didn't know she just Oh yeah. my god. The bitch is always on the doubles. That and is she's so about annoying. to get your shit. Oh, I hate her. <laughs> okay. Oh, I already so, don't like her. She's the one I couldn't get the shit I wanted from last time. Yeah, a lot of our friends have kids or are trying to have kids. And at some point in our lives, we're going to want kids. So, what is one thing that you think every kid should know? Like, if you could teach every every kid one thing, what would it be? Manners. Damn, fuck you. That was my answer. Manners, yeah. My answer to this question was manners. Damn. Get out of my head. <laughs> when I asked you that the other day, I was like, mine's manners, clearly. I thought you were going to say something, I don't know, way more logical, like don't touch fire or something oh, stupid. Oh, no. Manners, definitely. That is such a good thing to have. Oh, my God, I hate you all. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I will pay whatever. I don't even care. Thank you. Yes. The railroads are like the best thing to have. I know. I can't believe you wiped me out that one time on railroads. Yeah. And, and utilities the, the alone. The yellow uh, ones. What was it? No, it was railroads and utilities. And the yellow ones. That's all I had. Maybe. But, yeah, manners. Man, I can't believe we said the same thing. That's ridiculous. We do think a lot alike. You fucking irritate Very me with that. Very interesting. <laughs> Why? Like, because. Get your own goddamn thoughts. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I did my God. I didn't mean you. to do that. You want to buy it? Yep. Oh, that's crazy. I'm crappy. not buying it for that much. Shit. Damn. I'm getting it. Oh, my God. Now I know. I that's too. why I meant to do Fuck. I gotta yeah, pay more crappy. attention. Oh, I forgot I was in jail. So why manners over anything else? Because manners get you so far, and it's just so polite, and it's nice to hear yes or yes sir, or yes ma'am. Like, it just sounds good. Sounds like you have respect for people. Uh huh. What would be your answer? Or why would it be manners for you? Oh man, it's obvious why it's manners for me. Because I, I don't know, I'm just really big on the way you are. being polite and yeah. stuff. 
God, what is up with all this auctioning? This is Monopoly, well, not me, eBay. I didn't ask to auction. You hit the wrong button. See? I didn't hit any buttons. You must have. Man. Wheelbarrow's fucking us up. Alright. Um, you watch a lot of TV shows, and you always get bummed when your TV shows end and stuff like that. So, you've gone through, oh, I'd say, like, 10 or 15 shows in lot. the last, like, year or two. Oh, yeah. And that's incredible to really think about because <laughs> you're never home. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, I hate her. If you could bring one back, what would it be? Jane by Design. I love that show. I it was on for one... I... Yeah, I don't think you ever watched it with me. It was on for one season. And thank you. And um, it stopped. And I was so upset that it stopped because it was so good. What was it about? Um, it was about this girl. I think she was still in high school or something. But she was interning at this, like... Um, what do they call them for the people? Designers? She was interning as a designer or something oh, like that. Okay. And, like, she was she was keeping it, like, on the low so nobody knew. And then she got caught up or something. I don't know. It's just really, really good. But why did she have to not tell people? Because she, she oh lied about Oh, my God. I know what I did. I, I picked the wrong setting. Well, let's stop this then because I don't want to play this all game. No, nah, we'll just play through. We'll see how the, this oh is going to be Oh, my God. It's going to be so crappy. This is going to be way down. Um... Yeah, it was just really, really good. And I was so upset when I found out it was canceled. Like, I felt like they could have done more with it. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I never saw it, so... Yeah. Um, it was, like, pretty much like um, Drop Dead Diva would be. Like, it's pretty much a girl show. Oh, man, you've been into that show a lot lately. Yeah, I'm already, like, in season two. Or like halfway through season two. I see. Awesome. What show would you bring back? What show would I bring back? I had a really, really good answer for this until I was trying to figure that shit out. <laughs> and uh, the show I would bring back. It can probably, be super old. Yeah, I think it's going to be The Dinosaurs. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I absolutely loved that show as a kid. And I don't know, I think it would be cool if it was still going and it was still a yeah, common show out there. That's hilarious. I remember I remember finding that on Netflix and I'm like, oh my god, we should watch that. And Alvin or Al whatever it is. Alf? Alf, yeah. I, I you know, I almost said Alf. I had I had made a <laughs> last minute decision there. I was I wasn't sure to be Alf. Or the dinosaurs, yeah. but the dinosaurs definitely wins. You're so funny. <laughs> I love that show as a kid. I watched a few episodes of it, but it, I don't know. Like it's I watched the Flintstones super hilarious. more. Yeah, I watched a lot of Flintstones too. Yeah, did you ever see the movies? Yeah, I hell yeah, I the saw movies. the movies. <laughs> oh yep. my god, I love those. One year we had a Halloween party, and. Um, Don't tell me you dressed up as Al. No, no, no. I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to explain the friend. Our friends in Reading. There we go. Okay. Our friends in Reading dressed up as Wil Fred and Wilma. Oh, or not Fred funny. and Wilma. Or was Wilma Fred's wife? Yeah. yeah. They dressed up like that. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And of course he was down like for that. it because he basically just got to wear a robe all night. Yeah. <laughs> One of those things. But That's funny. that was a fun, man. That was a fun year. We used to do that. That's the one thing I miss about living in the area is we used to do that shit all the time. Yeah. Like we were always together on Halloweens and shit like that. Like everybody. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Mm. Who is this broad? You're going to walk Monopoly streets in your high heels? Is she working on the Monopoly <laughs> streets? That's what I want to know. Look how pointy they are. Yeah, they'd be uncomfortable. She'd yeah. have your feet by the time she was done. It doesn't look like she has any feet. Fuck, why oh is it Oh, my God. This? I okay, turned maybe, it off. I know. Maybe. Um, yeah, maybe this is just her choice. Yeah. Maybe. We bid the same amount. Damn. The bidding needs to continue. It's okay. So, if you were a zombie... <laughs> oh god so you you're looking for brains 
and you needed to ambush somebody. I'm so pissed that we had to restart this. But uh, if you needed to ambush somebody, where do you think the best place to hide would be so that you could get them? Um, I don't know. I'd say under their bed. Under their bed? Yeah. You don't think you would look under where you're going to sleep if you were human in a zombie apocalypse? No. Why not? Why wouldn't you pay attention to your surroundings? I would just jump on the bed. I don't like looking under shit. I never <laughs> like looking under shit. When I was, like, younger, uh-huh. I would seriously, like, jump, ac- see if I could light up anything. Like, even if it was making my phone super bright, light up my phone and just jump, like, as far as I can away from my bed to make sure whatever was under my bed didn't get me. You're afraid of dust bunnies? <laughs> I just don't know what was under my bed. Did I ever tell you that we used to call dust bunnies ghost turds? Ew, yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. It's absolutely So funny, hilarious. but ridiculous. Yep. That was always a funny term. <laughs> there was too many funny terms. I've was... never had any cool ones like that. Yeah, that's funny. Or Ghost Herds is pretty cool. Sneakers <laughs> were go fasters. Sneakers were go fasters? Yeah. I've never heard that's, that it's one. It's super funny shit. That's so funny. Paul's paying up. Where is he getting all this money? He looks like he's like five years old. <laughs> Lemonade, motherfucker. Oh, hell no. Where else you does do a five-year-old make, get money? You do not make that much money with Maybe lemonade. his lemonade is really good. Maybe the balance between hand squeeze and concentrate is perfect. Okay, he's not charging that much, though. Oh, this bitch. Maybe the city is really, really big and oh, I hate he her. just has a lot of customers. You're Maybe too not. territorial over the orange properties. I love the orange ones and the yellow ones. The orange ones and the yellow ones in the railroads, all that matter to me. Oh, I hate <laughs> yeah. you. I absolutely hate My you. ninja. Oh, it's you know, I think you. I think you like the orange ones because partially because orange is one of your favorite colors. I don't know. I just know that orange ones are good, and I don't really like the red ones because there's like only one or two that people even land on. I got doubles. Yeah. Oh, look, you're on Ashley's chest. You're so stupid. Fifty dollars. <laughs> oh, my not... foot fell asleep. Hey, you better wake it up. It's starting to snore. Ew. <laughs> it's starting to <laughs> snore. You're a dork. So, I asked you the other day. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like my transition between topics is getting repetitive. Why? So, so, <laughs> so. Anyway. Uh, I asked you the other day, maybe today, I don't remember when I asked you about this, um, but I, I asked if you had had a paranormal oh, yeah, that experience, was early today. And, and you said yes, and I was kind of surprised, because, I mean, you act like you're afraid of ghosts and stuff like that, but I never really truly believed that maybe you were actually that yeah. scared of them. Yeah, really? Wow. So you've had... Let's hear about your your ghost experience. Okay, so it may sound ridiculous to some, but it's totally... I just felt super weird, and it just didn't feel like anything that I felt before. So I was... It was like I was about fourth grade, I think, and I got in trouble. So I got sent downstairs to sit in my babysitter's room for like an hour or something. And so I'm sitting there, and I was like, obviously, as a curious kid, I was walking around seeing what I could fuck with. Well, I found this, like, foot massager on the other side of the bed. A vibrator? No. Like, it was a, like, pillow, and then you stuck your feet in the top. Like, there was little cushions. Okay. And, like, you would turn it on, and it would vibrate. You had to, like, manually turn it on. You couldn't turn it on with your feet. Okay. It was, like, a little button that you pushed or something. Okay. Or, like, something that you slid. So, I did that, and I, I don't know, I was just messing with it for a while, and then I got over it. So, I took my feet out, I turned it off, I went around the bed and sat on the chair that I was supposed to sit on and just like I don't know maybe 10 minutes later I heard it start going off and I'm like what the hell like there's no one else in this room the door is closed to this room and that is on the other side of the bed it was really really creepy you don't think that maybe you jiggled something loose while you were using it no there's no like no Uh, way this is true love you're coming to visit me oh damn it I don't like you that much. <laughs> um, We're locked up. Ah, that's gay. Any Hoosiers? 
Oh, yeah. So that's what I felt about that. What do you... Do you have anything? I feel like you just jiggled something loose. No, I really don't think so. That's the lamest ghost story I've ever heard. Whatever. I thought it was creepy. I was a kid and I couldn't explain that. So I don't know whether or not I believe in ghosts. And that's a really interesting statement And when you heard it said. But Mm -hmm. I feel like I've possibly had paranormal experiences but i feel like i've also been incredibly tired at times so maybe it would be very easy to to fabricate this in just the mind but oh okay uh, i was on watch once and the where i was overlooking kind of uh god damn my chest you just used oh you i thought you used the card oh you didn't use the card I did. I, I used. Uh, I, no, I didn't. I paid money. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> you're um, an idiot. I am an idiot. Anyway, so my my post was overlooking the river, and oh, who's an idiot I now? Hate you. And I was standing there one night, and I swear I saw this girl in like super old like Victorian dress ish, which is really weird because that creepy. era wasn't around. Yeah. That area of the world, so. And she kind of had, she was young, like seven, and she just, like, ran across the river and disappeared. Like, walked on top of the water, ran across the river, and gone. Could you see her, like, clearly? Yeah, clear as a motherfucker. Like, face impressions? Yep. No way. Yep, to the T. To the fucking T. And the crazy thing is, is, like, we were right next to a cemetery. Like, legit. We could have thrown rocks and landed them on top of these graves. That's creepy. We walked by them every day. Like, yeah, completely ridiculous. And the, a lot of people said a lot of weird shit on around. A lot of weird shit went on around there. But uh, that was one of the things that, that I had happened there. One of many. But I, I don't know. I don't know. That could have easily been me being tired. And the other ones could have easily been people fucking around. So, I don't know. You kind of do the math. There was once... But what would... uh, Why would that be in your head? Why would that be a thought in your head to see that girl? Like, I don't know. It just feels too, like, perfect to just be something that you thought of. That's why, I I mean, I don't know. That would make a lot of people believers. But for me, I'm just like, it may or may not be. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what I feel. I don't know. Would that That's make you a believer? Topic. Huh? Like if you saw that, would you go? I believe in ghosts. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! I didn't even have to see one, and I I pretty much somewhat believe yeah. in him. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of weird shit went on around there. Ew! I bet. I was on that post again at a different time, and like I was looking through um, thermal vision, and it looks just like. The black and white stuff that you see in, like, videos with, like, aircraft dropping bombs. Like, that's what it looked like. Oh, okay. So I was looking through this thermal scope, and I saw a headdress, a black and white checkered headdress on a head, just, like, crossed down, like, right outside our shit. So I called, like, the guy in charge of, you know, watch that night, and I was uh-huh. like, hey, look at this. And he's like, what the fuck? And uh, he's like, I'm going to grab some guys and go down and check it out. And I'm like, okay, cool. And he gets down there and he hits me on the radio. He's like, is it still there? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, there's nothing here. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And he's like, fuck yeah. There's nothing right here. And I saw it in the scope too. He's like, is it really still there? And I'm like, yeah. And he comes back up and he looks and double checks. He's like, I don't fucking know. There's nothing down there. Ew, could it have been a ghost? I that would be very interesting because I don't think a ghost would give off a heat signature. I think that would they be do. Too, that would be way too easy. I think I feel like they really? do. Yeah. Is that why people get cold when a ghost yeah. looks? Yeah. It, it could be. Maybe. I totally believe it. That is so maybe creepy. maybe oh, we saw the ghost right on thermal. I don't know. It was absolutely oh, fucking shit. weird. So. That's creepy. Damn, you got it for less than you were supposed to pay for it. That's a That's steal. So <laughs> That's awesome. At the last second, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It's not. It didn't do anything. It didn't move the entire night. 
It never went away, but there was nothing ever there. That's creepy. Fuck that. Because what if you're standing up there, you're like, no, I seriously see something. And you're like, well, I don't see anything. It wasn't there in the future. That was the only time it was there. But why would, I don't know, that would make it seem like the goggles were crappy or something. Damn it. No, no, because it's not like you can, like, burn an image into them or something like that. It's just like looking at, through the little black and white stuff in Call of Duty or whatever. Interesting. Yep. Hmm. I don't know, man. There's a lot of weird shit in that area. That's creepy. A lot of weird shit. That would freak me out. I'd be crying like a baby every night because I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I guess I saw another ghost today. <laughs> there was a couple times is this bitch serious yeah right there was a couple times where uh you know a couple of us would go hey do you see this and we're just like mm-hmm the fuck is that like it's like more than one person saw a lot of the shit oh yeah so it's not one person like oh, right person and that that's there. why i can't decide whether or not i believe that it was really ghosts or that would make me think more are you goddamn kidding me no i didn't that's a boardwalk yeah oh that's crazy that's absolutely horrible yeah that's i don't know to me that's what makes it tough i like i don't know i don't know what to believe because i've never had anything like that happen to me you know while i wasn't exhausted yeah in a high stress situation hmm I don't know. I really believe him. Oh, I hate you. I know you do. That's why that makes it oh so much better. Ugh, that's shitty. So, huh. <laughs> See, I did it again. We were about to go to something new, I think. So, <laughs> did we talk about the <gasps> digital so license plate thing? No, we haven't. That is so weird. So, yeah. <laughs> you just did it so <laughs> We read this article, and it said how they're like, it wasn't it California or something, yeah. was reverting to digital license plates. And they made it seem like there was maybe an iPad uh, on the back of your vehicle where the license plate was supposed to be. Okay, well, what's going to stop people from smashing that or stealing it? Like, how are you going to put this on there and make it indestructible? Yeah, I feel like they're, they got a, the right idea, I guess. Like, they're trying to be innovative. They're trying to find ways to save money. But I feel like there's a lot of flaws. Like, as you said, ha, what's going to stop me from just walking by and smashing your license plate? Yeah. Or that can't be what's going to happen when a mouse shoots through the electrical in your, in your vehicle and shorts your license plate? Like, yeah. What's going to happen when the DMV tracks your car via this GPS technology in the license plate? Uh, You know, that would be fucking absolutely weird and creepy to know that they were tracking your every movement. Yeah, you could totally do that. I would not trust that. I don't like that idea. That's almost invasion of privacy. Well, yeah, or I don't know what their excuse would be. You know, but it wouldn't be that we're invading people's privacy. No. Yeah. If only that was freaking free parking. You ain't gonna... There's nothing in free parking yet. Yeah, that one person landed on income tax. Look, if you ever play a Monopoly, you gotta play it to where all the fees, like taxes and chance, the stuff that comes up on chance cards and community chess cards. Thank you. Uh, uh-huh. You gotta... You got to make it to where all the fees go to f- the middle of the board. And then when you land on free parking, you get whatever money's in the middle of the board. Yeah. That's like a house rule for us. And if you, yeah. don't, if you don't play Monopoly, that way you're missing out. But uh, I, I heard about that. Yeah. We were talking about that with the actual Monopoly board. Yeah. Like, there is some people, I think I met one group that didn't play like that. It's not even in the rules to play like that. That's a made up, up rule. It? I don't know, but that's just a made up rule. But I think it makes the game so much better. Interesting. But there's nothing in it right here, man. I think this guy's paid taxes once. The girl with the pooch did too. The girl with the pooch. <laughs> you said pooch, and I was like, there ain't no fat chick in this game. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Run, bitch. Uh, oh, you whore. Man, oh, we've been gaming a shit ton lately. Yeah, we have. We got Rayman like a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh, that shit is so fun. 
I know. I can't wait to. I know the the new one's out, but I want to finish the one, one we're we playing before yeah. I'm grabbing it. Oh, I hate you. like you said, See? damn! Like you said, I should land hate on free you. parking. I said I should land on free parking. I know that's what I just said. I should land on free parking. I have to pull. A yeah, man. Rayman's been a ton of fun, and then we've been playing this a lot together too. Yeah. We used to play it a lot before, too. I don't know why we got rid of it. Because uh, that's... Oh, he put houses on these. Because that's when I was uh, being a bad individual and not paying for everything that I had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah. It is what that is. Yeah. Anyway. Damn, Paul doesn't have any money. No, Paul seems to be broke quick, which is funny because... I mean, he's got the Monopoly. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Is he paying us? I think that's what that yep. said. Yeah, I'll pay us. I'll take a payment. <laughs> Damn, he just built more. That's why he doesn't have money. He's mm -hmm. building stuff. But as we know, you build too early, you lose. Mm-hmm. So I don't... I'm not worried about it. I kind of wish I would have traded him Boardwalk for the red one now, though. Uh... What? If you give her those, she'll give you short line. That's a lot of money. We're gonna we're gonna remove the cash from that. I don't know how to uh, whatever. Yeah, you click on it. I'm good. I'm just gonna reject it. All right, so I I would have took it Monopoly for all the railroads. I couldn't figure it out. Oh And my I'm God. trying to think of a topic. So. We came up with this thing where we were going to write down some questions and we were mm -hmm. going to ask each other uh, ten questions and the answer was the first thing that comes to your mind. Yeah. So, do you want to start with me asking you a question or you asking me a question? Yeah, you can ask me a question. All right, let me pull up my questions. Okay. Ten. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, it's the, uh, what I rolled. If you could be one animal, what would it be? And remember, these got to be legit answers and not just like, oh, a coyote. Legit answers? Yeah. Hmm. Like, you have to have a reason why you want to be this animal. If you could be one animal, what would it be? Ooh. Oh, that's probably going to be stupid. I was going to say a leopard, but <laughs> that's just because they're so pretty. Oh, you! I knew you were going to pick a cat of some kind. I love cats. I absolutely <laughs> I absolutely knew you were going to pick a cat. <laughs> that just what? shows how much you know me. <laughs> I totally thought you were going to say a tiger. No, leopards yeah. are so pretty. The black ones or the cougars. I should have guessed a spotted uh, cat, though, because yeah. you're really big into leopard and cheetah print. Yep. And on weird <laughs> stuff like the bed sheets and... Yeah. Purses and all shoes and stuff like that. That's weird. I think it's weird. Wow. Oh, that is normal. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure you did. <laughs> Alright, what's your question? Uh, what would be your answer to that? Uh, if I could be one animal? Yeah. I'm gonna be a badass animal. So I can't I can't figure out if I wanna be a like a predator and live like super on top of the food chain. Or if I want to be like a sloth and just not give two shits. Like a legit sloth? Yeah. So I think I'm going to go with sloth, though. Oh, my God. You're so ridiculous. That's hilarious. You're lazy. No, I'm not lazy, but I wouldn't mind just chilling. <laughs> not having to do anything? Yeah. I always say how I want to stay home and relax. See, and that's what I'm work. saying. Like, sloth would be what's up. I'm not trying to have to... Work my ass off awesome. super hard for my food and then starve three days later. Are right, you paying out the ass for this. How bad do you want it? <laughs> I hate you. Oh, I love that about the auction system. All right, so let's say hypothetically, and this one's weird because you gotta you gotta think about it. Uh, if you had to make a decision. If you were put in a room with a gun on the table by a guy, he says, as soon as you choose one, you can walk out. And then you walk in and it's your child and your dad. Which one? My child. What? 
Wow. I never thought you would say that. You say it? Yeah, I, I figured you would you would not sacrifice your child for anything. Because you're always about babies and stuff. I know. I, oh, I love the shit out of babies. One of my coworkers is pregnant, and today was her last day. Oh, I felt the baby, and it was so cute. It was I'm just so in love with babies. And then I was a creeper. One of my coworkers <laughs> was taking an order at a table, and they had a baby, and I walked over and looked at the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find an excuse for it to not to look weird when I walked over and looked at this baby. That's thing. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, oh, I don't think I'd be able to do that. But you, wait, you just said you'd take, you'd I kill know. your kid. I know. What would you do? Over your dad? Yeah. Oh, me? I'd kill my dad in a heartbeat. That's easy. Oh, well, <laughs> that's not fair. That's way easy. Duh. Yep. That's hmm. a no-brainer. Anyway, your question. You're ridiculous. Wow, I, I so thought you would choose your dad. No. Okay, so <laughs> it sounded weird, but I, I'm pretty sure I saw this on Reddit. Like, this, oh, what's something awkward that's happened to you? And I'm pretty sure I saw it on Reddit like a week or two ago. And, okay, so say you're going to the bathroom. You're going number two. So you're sitting in a stall. And some little kid pops open the door and just <laughs> stares at you. And just stares there blankly. Doesn't say anything, just looks at you. What would you do? <laughs> or what would you say? Um, what would I say? <laughs> oh, it would definitely be witty. I'm trying oh to imagine sitting there. I'm trying to imagine sitting there and having a kid just open up the door as I'm taking a shit. Oh, man. I don't, it's so Isn't hard. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I would like, what would I they can't... understand and what wouldn't be creepy or something? No, I wouldn't I you. wouldn't care about creep factor or anything like that. I would just uh I don't know, you're coming in here to shoot the shit? Something like <laughs> just saying like something like poop related. That's, ew, even though you hate poop. I know, but it's just funny to the situation, you know? Oh, oh my so God, you're here to funny. shoot the shit? Like <laughs> wanna so shoot the shit? Something like that. For sure. What about you? Okay, damn, a kid peeps in on you. What if it was a little boy that saw you shitting? I would probably cuss at them very loud and <laughs> scream at them to go away. <laughs> I would just be an asshole. I already don't like kids that I, I don't know. I can see it now. You're on this shitter. And <laughs> this kid pops his head under and you start screaming at him, go away, you fucking asshole. <laughs> but as you scream out the word fucking, you push because you're yelling and you just rip ass and drop a deuce as this kid's looking at you and you're screaming at him. I totally see how that goes. No. Yes. Who is Alicia? Where's Alicia? Oh my God. Alicia is a crazy bitch. That's never going to happen. Oh, yeah. She wants the, the blue property. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. Wow. Okay. What are what are the three things that you want to accomplish before you die? Not the three things, but three things. Um, I really want to go back to school for cosmetology. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I want to have kids. Mm -hmm. And... I don't know. I would say do more charity wise. Like, really? Yeah. Hmm. That makes me feel really good that we've been doing that and how we're talking about doing the whole Toys for Tots thing oh, yeah. during Christmas. Yep. I, I definitely have a, a soft spot for Toys for Tots. Something with kids, man. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of having kids of my own all the time, but I definitely, you know, like kids in general. Yeah. And want them to have fun carefree lives mm -hmm. dang i'm sucking really bad yeah you are you're gonna be the first one out yep and i didn't even have anything i don't know i mean you're not playing aggressive enough i guess i didn't really land on much so i've been landing on chance and uh jail <laughs> oh well jail will do it maybe you yeah. shouldn't be a repeat offender <laughs> I can't help it. You got to get out of jail free card. How is that costing you I money? I just got that, uh, but I haven't been in jail since then. I see. All right, so what's your question? Um. Okay. <laughs> I already thought this is going to be heinous. Just how you laugh. Do you rather be Amish or Mormon? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I totally thought of this. Like, it was just came to my mind when I looked up at the screen and I saw Amish Mafia. 
But I well, here's the fucked up part. Oh, don't even tell me. It's, no, is is you can't ask this question without making fun of religion, which isn't what the point is. That's like, not our point. I but... know, I know. Like we're not trying to be mean to people no. that are religious, but oh, fuck Amish. I've Mormon. seen Mormon shows and Amish shows that freaking sister seven wives? wives. Yeah, sister wives. Ooh, and then damn. Amish mafia. <sighs> If you are Mormon, you can have multiple wives, which may or may not be a good thing, right? That's a lot of women nagging about you, about shit all the time. You know, that's a lot of different women to please and things like that. Whether it be financially and there's all these kids and all this other shit. I, I don't know that multiple wives is as fun as it sounds, right? No, it doesn't sound fun. Well, many women, if one sounds Ew. fun, however, I don't know that the responsibility that's going to come along yeah, with that. Yeah, or the so emotional baggage and everything, oh like, my from each God. person. Holy yep. crap, that would wear on you. And on the other hand, I'm as even... people, they grow badass beards. Oh, my so gosh. So, that's, that's a possibility because of that. You did not need um, to grow a There's beard. the mafia, which I could apply for. <laughs> Because it seems like anybody can do that job. <laughs> oh I'll become God. my own mafia and just not wreck people's chicken coops for protection money, I guess. That's ridiculous. Um, Absolutely hilarious. But then I'd have to give up all my electronics and stuff. Yeah, and, that's, and you're really tied to those. I know. That's a, that's an interesting, an interesting thing there. But I think I'm going to have to go Mormon, man. Or, no, not Mormon. Yeah, I, I would Amish. rather be Amish. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, hold on. Definitely Amish. Wow. What about you? Oh, I definitely want to be Amish. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yeah. I mean, they could still party and everything. Nobody's gonna take them seriously because they're like wearing these moo's. No, dude. Once they decide that they're gonna be Amish, they don't party anymore. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. This is a dumb trade. Why would I accept this? That's me. They want that oh. from me. I'm no. Like, no. Still don't want to do that. Damn, you'd have got a monopoly. Mm-mm. Yeah, he was offering you the white blue one. Oh, what are those utilities? I have, yeah, utilities. Oh, sneaky ass utilities. Yeah. Uh, so you would rather be honest? You'd look good with yep. a bonnet. Ew, no, I don't think those things look good on anybody. Because and those lame ass dresses. That's well, that so girl, nice who, she looked completely different from what she looked like when she was all Amish up. Yeah, the Amish up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh god. Yeah, you probably are, which is actually funny because I that's have where a question. Freeman's que- going, and I have a question <laughs> regarding that that's kind weird. of on my list. Okay. So I asked you this one. I said, "What was the best question that you had to ask me?" And I and then I told you what I thought the best one on my list was, and this is the one. I, if I said if aliens invaded Earth, and with uh. the purpose of actually letting us know and make contact and ha- be taken seriously, and you were the first person they ran into, wh- how would you handle it? What would you do? Oh. Uh. If aliens made first contact with you. I don't, I wouldn't know what to say. I'd be scared as shit. I don't know if I'd want to talk to them. <laughs> like, they legit want to talk to me and not kill me or something? Yeah. Like, for an experiment? No, they just want to say, hi, we're aliens. Let's be friends. Who do I talk to? Who's your leader? Type stuff. I would say the leader is me. Fuck yeah! Are Hell you kidding yeah. me? I would do the same thing, because what's the president going to tell you? Oh, uh, fuck. You screwed up. You don't want to break rapport with these aliens. No. I'd be like, I'm in charge. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Yep. That would be awesome. Because they could... Oh, what yeah. What if the aliens could detect That's that cool. you were lying and they were like, bullshit, and then they killed you. And then I they just uh, moved on to somebody that was honest with them. I don't know. That's weird. I would take my chances. I would take my chances. <laughs> yep, definitely. Definitely. I don't know that I would be scared, though. I don't know. I'd be a little freaked out. What the fuck is going on Because they look weird. Here? She'll give you a short line if you give her a North Carolina get out of jail free card in cash. Okay, so I want to edit this. So how do I take do you, the cash get, part Go out? up to the cash part. Press yeah. okay. Uh-huh. And then go left with the D-pad. And down to zero? Yeah. Except. Oh, okay. Um... 
Yes, I'll knock on her with that. Was it my question next or yours? Ye, what, uh, yeah, your the question. Aliens? Your question. Oh, how would you handle it? Or were you thinking about the whole... Oh, I, just... I'm in charge. Oh, okay. Yep, definitely. Okie doke. I, I'm on the same page because, I don't know, I mean, I think you can pull it off. So it's your question. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is stupid oh, too. Shit. Okay, so would you rather me paint your nails for a week and you can't wear gloves? You just have to go everywhere with painted nails. You have to do your normal things, go to the store. You can't go any less because your nails are painted and people you don't want people to see you. Or would you rather me do your makeup every day of the week and you have to do normal things and you couldn't do anything to cover up your face so everybody would see that you were wearing makeup? By do my makeup, you don't mean anything ridiculous. You just mean make me look prettier. Um, I would put concealer on you and put eyeshadow. No, and... but, but the the goal is what's important. Would your goal to be yeah I'd make be you to pretty. make me look good? Oh yeah, of course. Then f- fuck, I don't know. Oh my god. Like, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Actors wear makeup. Okay. They look. But just I would fine. put eyeshadow on you. That's not that's not trying to make me look good. That's trying to make me look like a cross dresser, and that's the difference. Well, yeah. That's why I need to know your mother. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, it'll look good. We look so you would, look feminine. Okay, so you would bitch me up, is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, of course. Okay, I didn't understand that your goal was to bitch <laughs> I me up. I would just freaking make it look like your skin was clear or something. Oh, I, or, see, that's why I asked what the goal was. Yeah, pa- I mean, I would paint put- my fucking nails. <laughs> If your goal was just to make me look better, then actors do it all the time. Fuck it. <laughs> no, what if what if you did you my girly. makeup and I started pulling more ass than usual? Ew, See? that's weird. You shoot yourself in the foot. Oh hell no. See, you're hilarious. Dang, I'm down to four dollars again. Well, that's what you get for riding a boat on the concrete. <laughs> what kind of dumbass brings a boat on the oh pavement. Oh my god. All right, is it my wait? Uh, what was the question and what's your answer? Oh, no, that's dumb because there's no counter for you. You do your makeup and paint your fucking nails. <laughs> yeah, there is no counter for that. You need to mortgage some shit. I don't know what to mortgage. Damn, it yeah, doesn't matter. I don't have anything. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. I can't. Aww. Damn, first out, son. That's crazy. Rappy. All right, well, then we'll finish these questions and, and wrap it up since you're out, so. You better win, then. I'm gonna, I'll try. I don't think it'll be hard. It's the fucking computer. <laughs> um, anyway, my question. This kind of goes with the, the thing you said about hell there. Um, oh, okay. Let's pretend, and I'm going to say pretend because we don't know for sure one way or the next, but what? let's pretend that... Heaven is real, and heaven is what it's depicted to be, which is, like, everything you could want, beautiful, glorious. So would you rather die and go to heaven or have eternal life? Keep in Uh, mind, if you're going to heaven, you're kind of... You're leaving people behind. Leaving people behind, exactly. I'd rather have an eternal life. Would I stay health, healthy and everything? or would Yeah, I just... yeah, you're just going to... Oh, hell yeah, I want to live forever. Are you kidding me? I don't want to die. I hate the thought of death. Really? But what are the repercussions when the Earth is no just like Jupiter and you're still alive on it? What do you mean the Earth's just like, like Jupiter? Like, you know, it's cold as fuck made of gas because it's destroyed itself from all the humans, like... You know, you're going to see the day when we can no longer live on Earth if you live can forever. Can I just kill myself, though? If no, you way. live forever. Oh, man, that's a bad idea. I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> I didn't think about eternal as in being maybe there's going to be no more people by the time I'm still alive. Right. That's creepy. No, I don't think I'd want to do that then. I don't so you'd rather live in Yeah. Hell. Yeah. What about you? I would do the eternal life thing. Ew, that's creepy. Mm-hmm. You want to be the last person? Maybe. Why? Just because of all the new shit. Like, you would always see what's next. You would always see what's next. It would just be really cool. Interesting. I guess. And eventually, like, say the, the human race does prevail. You could be the lo- the oldest member of the old race, right? And then people would oh, listen to you. Yeah. You'd gain power. 
It's just kind of really I guess creepy. It's kind of cool. Weird, but cool. Yeah. All right, your turn. Um, what's one thing you wouldn't want tattooed on your body? Ooh, my ex-wife's name. Oh, damn, going particular. That's good. Yep. <laughs> I guess, Damn, yeah. Damn! She oh just got God. 1900 bucks. Dang. Um, I guess mine would probably be the same thing. It's just a name of per- someone's name. I wouldn't oh, want to get Oh, I thought you meant my ex-wife's name. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, um, damn, that sucks. I know. I didn't realize this bitch traded me a mortgage property. Ooh, that's crappy. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, what were we... Oh, yeah, just a name in general. I don't want anybody's name on my body. Not even my dad's name. Maybe really? my kids' names. Mm. I like the whole kids' names idea. Like, something with the kids' names. Like you said, something that they like. What do you in the mean? Birthday. Like, a little an object that they like or something oh. that they like that reminds you of them. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Max's name for sure. Okay, <laughs> so what's your favorite Muppet? I don't really know them all. You have to tell me, and then I'll choose from uh, the ones I know. I don't know them all. There's Gonzo. Oh, isn't he the one in the garbage? No, he's the one with the big nose. You think it's Sesame oh. Street? <laughs> <laughs> That's Oscar. <laughs> and you're you're totally on Sesame Street. <laughs> um, oh my god. Um, so there's Gonzo. So there's Gonzo. There's Animal, which is the drummer. Oh, the one you have the shirt on. Yeah. There's <laughs> Kermit. There's Miss Piggy. There's Rizzo the rat. Ew. There's the scientist guy and Beaker. Scientist guy Beaker. Yeah, the little orange dude. That's oh okay. Um, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> that's about the biggest famous ones. I guess. Um. I'd probably say Animal then because Animal's all cute. But all the other ones just are weird. Like Miss Piggy and Kermit, they're fucking weird. Ain't nobody know what's going on with them. (laughs) Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, that's weird. The the pig to frog relationship. Yeah, right? What would you? My favorite Muppet's probably Animal. For sure. Oh, well, that makes sense because you have a... There's these two you're old sure? men that are in all Muppet movies. In, in Muppet Treasure Island, they're on the front of the ship, and there's these two old men. Uh-huh. And they're like critics the whole time throughout the movie. Like, they make jokes about the movie and stuff. It's hilarious. They're actually my favorite characters. But wow. No, but nobody knows who they are. Great. I'm glad I can't fucking buy that. Right. Aren't, um, what's it called? Ugh. Aren't they, like, human characters, too? Or No. I still can't buy that. Human characters, no. No, not really. Oh. I didn't know if they were actually like the Muppets or not. No. Okay, so your turn. Um, oh yeah, huh? I was saying that's your turn. Oh, man. Today. Okay. Woman, woman. If there was one game... That you could uh, one game only that you could ever buy for the PS4. What would it be? Ooh, I don't know. Ever. I don't know because I don't oh, know it's yeah, gonna be huh. out in twenty years. Dang, that's true. Well, if you could only buy one game out of all the games that are releasing, what would it be? Um, I guess that we know of, probably the Division. Wow, that's the cop car one, right? Yeah, when they blow out the windows all crazy. Yeah, I I would definitely say the division. What about you? Um, probably either the crew or Knack. I was thinking I like Knack games too. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, Knack. I'm more into those. Going. I'm really. I have high hopes for Knack. Yeah, Fuck. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I feel like it's gonna look a lot like Rayman, like how it flows, possibly. Maybe. Hopefully, Rayman's a lot of fun. Rayman is so much fun. And okay. it's so easy for me. It, I picked it up super easy. Yeah, you did. Well, it's not many buttons, and the concept is yeah. good. Dang, you're about to go bankrupt, too. I know. I'm so about to lose this. <laughs> so, crappy. does your chewing gum lose flavor on the bedpost overnight? What? Does your chewing gum lose flavor on the bedpost overnight? 
Why is there chewing gum on the bedpost? <laughs> okay, let's just say you put chewing gum on your bedpost at night. Ew! Does your gum lose flavor overnight or not? Yeah, because it dries out, right? I don't know. I'm asking. Ew, I would say yeah. <laughs> okay. That is disgusting. Where did you hear that? <laughs> don't worry about me. It's a question. Ew. What do you think? Uh, I would assume it does too. Yeah, because it dries out and gets all hard. Ugh. Please don't tell me you know someone who does that. No. Okay. It's not so even <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> That's so nasty. That is, yeah. Ew. Definitely. All right, your turn. Um... Would you um, dress up as a tranny for a week for $100? Uh, no! <laughs> a week is a long time, and you're giving me 100 bucks. What's the no. longest stretch that you would go, then? For 100 bucks, Yeah. 15 minutes. What? Are you yeah. serious? You wouldn't go a whole day? No! That's $100 a... that you didn't have, though. That's $100 for, what, eight hours worth of work? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do the math on that. I mean, that's not actually, that's actually not a very bad way. No, but. it's not, because 8 times 5 is 40. And that's 5-hour work weeks. Even if it was 8, 8 times 8 is 64. That's still good. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, not a day. <laughs> I think, I think you're getting 15 minutes. Damn. If you want me as a tranny, you got to pay for this. Oh, hell you gotta, no. You don't just get that <laughs> shit handed to you. You got to pay for this. You're ridiculous. So, you know, no, fuck no. Fuck. I'm screwed. Oh, gosh. I know. Wow, that's interesting. All right, so let's get through these then. Have you ever been in a food fight? Ew, no. Really? That's disgusting. Please don't say you have. I think I have, but it's never been as big as, like, you would see in movies or some shit. Ew, that's gross. Why would you do that? Uh, it's funny. No, it's not funny. Ew, (laughs) you're so dirty by the end of it. You're dirty all the time. You're dirty all the time. Alright, what's next? Um... These ones are kind of dumb now that I look at them. Whatever. Would you rather be a part of the human centipede or would you rather be in Saw? What is wrong with you? (laughs) I told you they're weird. Oh my god, send me to Saw. (laughs) Unless, no, just send me to Saw. (laughs) Unless. I was going to say, unless I'm the front centipede. Ew. (laughs) That is so nasty. (laughs) Uh, uh, That's disgusting. Yeah, unless I was the... But I don't even want to be the front centipede. I'd, I'd definitely go saw. For oh, sure. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess I would, too. I mean, you probably still have a, ch- a really good chance of losing, but your chances of winning are a little better. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Than just being tied to someone. Oh, that's disgusting. All right, what else? What's your next one? Um, That was my next one. Oh, it were me? Yeah. All right. Oh. Who's your biggest celebrity crush? Biggest? Oh, my God. Kenny Chesney. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, my God. I've loved him since I was, like, five years old. That sounds so ridiculous, but <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, considering he's, like, your dad's age. <laughs> my dad was like, you know he's bald, right? And I was like, I don't even care. He's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. God, who's your... I already know who you're going to say, but who's your child really? crush? Yep. Ooh, I didn't say childhood. I said celebrity. Oh, I mean celebrity crush. Mm-hmm. It's tough. It's between two two women. Uh-huh. I'd hope they're women. Yeah, right? Me too, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I could be into Bigfoot or something. Ew, weirdo. Uh, Bestiality. <laughs> I guess. Pretty I guess. sure. Yeah, you're yeah. probably right. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you shouldn't be. Maybe you shouldn't be in. (laughs) Maybe you shouldn't be in the big fight. That's awesome. So, it's either Mila Kunis. I already knew you were gonna say her. Or Jessica Alba. Ew, really? Yeah. She's so not hot. See, but I see Jessica Alba from her Dark Angel days, and I'm just like, oh. And now she's like all mommied up. Fuck you! I would do that. (laughs) But yeah. Yeah, You're ridiculous. Probably Mila Kunis though. Yeah, but her in that 70s show was so ugly. She looks so dorky as Jackie. Yeah, but she looks damn good now. 
You're so Looks funny. Damn good. All right, yours. You're ridiculous. This should be your second to last one. Um, I think I had eleven here. Oh. Oh. Would you rather? Ugh. Okay, so have you ever had tongue, cow tongue? No. Like in tacos, mango mm -hmm. tacos? Ew, okay, so gross. Would you rather eat that, or would you rather, you know, menudo that has the pig intestine in it? Would you rather eat that, like, for, like, a week? Like, a good amount of it, a whole pot that you have to make. Um, Ew, they're both gross. Well, you eat pig intestine if you eat sausage. Yeah, so. but it's, like, soft and good. Like, it's jelly. It's really chewy. It's gross. I don't know, probably tongue. I'd have to imagine Ooh. that tongue is more roast beef like. Ew, not even. <laughs> oh, no. It's so chewy. It's so disgusting. I've never had it. It feels like you're chewing on softer gristle. Wow, it's so disgusting. what would you choose then? Oh my god. I'd probably still go with the tongue. Yeah, see. Oh, uh, because yeah. the intestines, I didn't know what it was one day, and I went to eat it because I had some homemade stuff, and uh, uh, <laughs> it was the nastiest feeling. That's why I like, uh, I don't remember what it's called. That soup? Yeah, mm -hmm. not menu, though. It's, uh, it's the other one. Right. It doesn't have it in it. Pozole. Yeah. There you go. Because I like the hominy. Yeah, you mentioned it earlier today, actually. Mm-hmm. What's the hardest you've ever laughed? Like, or what's the thing that made you laugh the hardest that you've oh ever Oh, my laughed? God. It has to be one of the times where you, you told something or you told some joke or you said something hilarious. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. But, like, remember how they're just lost in time? Mm -hmm. That has to be one of the times. I was I almost pissed myself. I was crying. <laughs> there was tears pouring down my face because I was dying. You were dying somewhere. the other night when you were for bed and I said, Hammy. <laughs> <laughs> That was so funny. That just brought back so many memories. Yeah. <laughs> the Great White Whale. Oh, you're ridiculous. <laughs> oh That's my god. Ridiculous. That was the best though. What would yours be? Because you have hardest about thing it. I've ever laughed at. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, not to sound conceited, but myself. Well, yeah. I don't that know. Makes sense, I I, I think guess. I'm yeah. Like, I'm not always the funniest thing, but I think you the hardest I've ever shit. laughed is at myself. Because mm -hmm. I've, I've drooled all over my shit before <laughs> laughing hard enough. <laughs> Trying to tell a joke when you're dying at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's Drooling like, on it's yourself? like fucking NyQuil dripping out of your mouth. <laughs> it's like clear syrup. And you're just dying. Oh my god. I have laughed very hard and I drool a lot. <laughs> and even I don't drool when I laugh. <laughs> Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, you're just puddling out. <laughs> yeah, look like you're having a Give seizure. me some toes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You start breathing that shit in and choking on it. Oh my god. Jesus you're heinous. Christ. Yeah, man, definitely myself. All right, yours? Okay, my last one is really dumb. I'm pretty sure it's my last one. I think I wrote, yeah, I wrote down 11, so... <laughs> Would you rather have gonorrhea or syphilis? Syphilis? Syphilis is a mouth one, right? Oh. And I don't think you ever no. get rid of it. Damn. What am I thinking of that antibiotics cures? Oh, that's chlamydia. Yeah. Fuck. And I'm pretty sure it takes, like, you don't really fully get rid of gonorrhea either. I don't know, man. They're probably both horrible. I don't. I don't know my STDs well <laughs> Neither enough. Neither do I. I mean, I, that's a good thing. <laughs> I, but... Yeah, like I'm not very familiar with either one. That's here. so surprising, though, because you're really like in tune with like a whole bunch of health facts and like facts about the body uh, and everything. Well, I just, I just know what I read when it like pops up. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't ever really go out of my way to search it. Oh, okay. I guess it shows the lack of STD knowledge that. You know, it's, try, it's portrayed out to people mm -hmm. or projected out to people. Probably could be more. I think that's probably something we should learn about more as people. Yeah. Definitely. Because I don't even know what really the severity of those are. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's all I had. Uh, I thought you said you might have one more. Oh, yeah. If if I You, you missed the one that you thought was best on your list. Hmm. Huh. If I could travel with little to no money. Oh, yeah, because I asked you that earlier and I didn't remember to ask it again. Yeah, so if you would travel, would you rather have everything in the world and this big old house and everything you wanted, like you weren't hurting for money or anything, 
Or would you rather travel with, like, I mean, an okay amount of money to get you by, but nothing super awesome? I travel. Are you kidding? Me too. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, that would be awesome. That'd be Absolutely so much awesome. fun. I don't like to be in one place very long. Yeah. That's cool. I really want to move to Italy. Well, you're a fucking <laughs> dreamer. You're a dreamer. It's so pretty. Or Australia. Ew. Yeah. Anyway... I think this ran a lot longer because that Monopoly game was going, and that was a lot of questions, but I don't care because I had fun doing it. That was fun, it. yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good. So, um, if you're still here, it's amazing. That's great. And if you are, it would be really cool to know what you think a cool gift would be Oh yeah. for Toys for Tots because I think we're going to spend like 200 bucks this winter to just buy probably as many toys as we can or yeah. 10 i think we're gonna set 10, like a 20 dollar yeah. limit per toy uh-huh. so think of like a cool toy or something that's 20 dollars or less and like leave it in the comments because it'd be really cool to get a bunch of different things i agree yeah i'm glad you brought that up because i totally forgot about putting yeah. that in and also if you're still here thanks and it was fun but we will see you next all week. next week bye